Hey, this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to check out the Bootlegger Ace Headless Four String Bass. Let's take a close look at the Bootlegger Ace Four String Headless Bass. Made in Korea, this compact instrument is 39 inches long, 11 wide, and 1.5 and thick. It weighs in at 8 pounds, has a 34 inch scale with 24 frets. They used high quality woods for this. It has a three piece maple neck through body with ash wings. We've got a Brazilian cherry hatoba fretboard and the body is done with a honey natural clear polyurethane finish. It's built with an oval neck profile, 13.5 fretboard radius. We have a graphite nut. You can adjust the truss rod at the head. The fretboard has white pearl inlaid diamonds and side dots as fret markers. They also used high quality South Korean hardware. There's a monorail bridge to isolate the strings and it will utilize standard ball strings. The knobs are aluminum. When you look you'll see a whiskey tattoo, not a logo, on the front of this bass which is their traditional ace of spades bootlegger. In this instance, even though it's been designed to have an ergonomic balance, they included the optional Warwick chest bow extender that helps us players that are used to a bass with the weight at the head to kind of get a more comfortable feel for it, although it is equipped with regular strap posts. If you are using the chest bow extender, you're going to be using at one end of a strap, and in this instance, it's a Dunlop strap. It looks to me like this is a strap lock retainer, and then a regular strap post at the other end. The electronics are passive ceramic humbucking pickups. The order of the knobs is volume, volume, tone with a treble roll off. Those pickups are Buhong pickups. I may not be pronouncing that right. And this comes with a custom original hard shell case that has that traditional bootlegger tattoo on the outside. Okay, I wanted to do this so that you could get an idea what this looks like when you're not using the chest bow extender. I've got my Groove Gear Dave Ellison signature strap that is really easy to adjust on length. So what I did is I set it up to work this. As you can tell, kind of a very sharp angle here, right here. It's a little snug and the weight distribution is a little different. Even though this is an extraordinarily comfortable strap, having it spread with that chest extender makes things just a little more comfy, but this could work either way depending on your personal preferences. Here's the sound chain. We've got the bass hooked up with my Astrobe cable and that's running into my DNA head and cab. Now, very simple controls. We have volume, volume, and tone. So I'm going to go one at a time. So let's try the first volume. Nothing. We start bringing it up. Okay, so that is the front pickup. Let's try the next one. We're down to nothing again. And we we'll raise it. Okay, now let's add in the, the, the two of them together, which is what I usually do anyway. Okay, so that's neither. That's full bore both pickups. Okay, now a 
adjusting the tone. I'm going to take it to the two extremes. That's one end. And let's go to the other extreme. gives you a good idea on what the sound is like when we are working the control knobs. Okay, so there you have it. Before we go, I also wanted to point out that the shape on this bass is made so that you can comfortably play sitting down as well as standing. So let's sum up what we've looked at. The Bootlegger Ace, four string, headless, travel pro bass has a lot of good things going for it. It's well built, they used quality materials, it feels really solid. It does have, again, that little weight to it, a little around eight pounds, but that helps give you sustain on those long notes. It has a really cool look to it. So for your stage appearance, I mean, you really look kind of badass. So, I mean, it, it, it's gonna make you look good, I think, on stage. And I do like natural wood colors, but this could work for all kinds of genres of music and it would, fit nicely. The sound was really nice. The controls are very simple and if you want to get more modification you could always run it out into a preamp, into your pedal board, EQ, into your amp, however you want to do it. But you've got a nice basic signal coming out of here to give you something to work with. I was really impressed with the electronics. More often than not, I like to change out electronics on basses, but on this one, I think these are really decent. So those will give you something to work with nicely. The other part of the headless design, many traveling musicians have discovered that by not having a head attached on the neck here, it cuts down on the chances of breakage. The most common place that basses break when they're in transit is between the neck and the headstock don't have a head on here you don't have anything to break off so that is a really good point the other part of this is that because it comes with a nice hard travel case this thing looks really durable it's going to be well protected from the get-go so this would be perfect for the road also coming at a very reasonable price you're looking at right now they're listing it as 599 for the base plus the case I don't know if the chest bow extender is extra, but still, that's also a really good price if you're going on the road for a base that is gonna be dependable and sturdy, and if, heaven forbid, something happened to it, you could replace it reasonably. Other highlights and other good things, you can use regular strings, so you're not out having to purchase special strings, and I'm gonna come back to that chest bow thing. I think that's a worthwhile investment. Even if it were to cost you a little extra, it's going to make you a lot more comfortable. I would go to the trouble to get a modified strap. Wider, I think, is going to be a little more comfortable for this. I know there are probably some of you that play with three inch straps and it doesn't make a difference. I personally prefer a wider one, so that is just something I would change. The one thing that's really the challenge with this, it's got so many good features, it does take a little getting used to the way it feels. And that is just because of the body shape, the way your hand is going to fit. All of those are little details that would help you decide whether this is going to be 
the right instrument for you. So if you want more information, go to bootleggerguitar.com and you can look into more of the details. If possible, I would recommend get one of these in your hands, try it out, see how it feels and how you like it. If you are a touring working musician, I think this is a really good option for you. So this has been Raul, Bass Musician Magazine, bringing the latest in the world of bass.